Hello, everybody. Saigon here. Please choose your skill. I'm trying to choose a skill level. Welcome to the age of the great guilds. Oh, yes. My God. So, um, it's March 18th. Waiting on uh, the midnight release of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And one of my sisters discovers that LucasArts has started putting some of their adventure titles on Steam along with Loom. I didn't know this. I, this probably happened a while ago, but we had no idea. Loom is a fantastic, fantastic game, and man, we wasted a lot of time playing this as kids. Uh, myself and both of my sisters loved this game. It was fantastic. And uh, I figure I can knock a good chunk of it out, if not finish it, before um, Monster Hunter comes out tonight. So, here we are. Hi, son of Cigna. It is the dawn of your 17th year. The elders await you in the sanctuary. I've never known them to weave such a bright messenger nymph. I wonder why the elders want to see me. I'd better get down to the village. It's just a leaf, Sir Bobbin. Bobbin Threadbare. Oh, can I just click down there? There we go been a while since I played this. I still remember, like, uh, all the trouble points, though. Because, oh man, we were stuck at so many, like, weird places for such long periods of time that once we finally figured out what the game was expecting of us, um, well, that just stays with you. Oh, LucasArts made some games back in the day. Don't these people ever clean up after themselves? These old point-and-click games, if you've never played one, they are worth checking out. I guess I can't go back there. I need my staff. There's not much I can do without it. I cannot remember where to go to get it. I think it's over this way. So the story in this is incredible. The music is fantastic. Uh, we've got these different tapestries. There's the long tapestry. I don't remember it looking so old and frayed. Hang on a second. I'm going to adjust the, the volume. Describe the creation of the world and the passing of the two. Sh I don't believe that that's going to be loud enough for you. Hopefully this is better. Shadows. Here's more of the tapestry. The pattern shows the entire history of the weavers back to the founding of the great guilds. This was supposed to be a trilogy of games, and they only ever made the first one. That's such a shame. The last section tells about the decline of the guilds. There's a third shadow gathering. That's strange. The end is completely torn off. <gasps> Gasp! There's Hetchel, and the elders don't look at all pleased with her. You have heard the findings of this council, Dame Hetchel. 
Have you anything to say in your own defense? My elders, my actions speak for themselves. This reckless defiance is intolerable. Any secret you share with Signa's son might be turned against us. His talent is awakening, and the power is very strong in him. We dare not desert him now. Stubborn old fool, who are you to decide such things? Enough, Lachesis. Petriel, I am grieved to see your many years of service end in such disgrace. My destiny is yours to weave. Petriel... The fabric of your life has been woven by your own choices. Gaze once more upon the Great Loom, if you would know your ultimate destiny. For that destiny is now upon you. A swan's egg. What does it mean? Something is deeply wrong. That draft has never failed before. What is that noise? Outside! The guild is under attack! Who dares to desecrate the great loom of the weavers? This is the work of that demon boy! We should kill him while we still can! Your name will be cursed forever! Son of Signa! Loom child! Bobbin! My name? But I had nothing to do with this! Wait! Where are you going? <sighs> no explanations. No goodbyes. And once again, I'm left behind. Alright. Poor Bobbin. It's heavier than it looks. Yeah, distaff. All right, so the game is set up with musical puzzles. We have our distaff here, which we use to cast spells by playing music on it. The egg is trying to open. So, the egg is trying to open, and we were able to hear the music from it. E, C, E. D. Uh, oh, there's my boy. What's happening? The whole village has flown away without us. From the moment you came into this world, Bobbin, great and terrible things have been happening. The elders hoped that your birth was the cause of it. Why would the elders want to get rid of me? I'm such an awful weaver that they never even let me study with the others. They fear you, Bobbin. When the swan arrived, they were already trying to weave the same draft on you that they had worked on me. But the draft turned against them. It means only one thing, that the pattern is failing of its own accord. No. Can't it be stopped? Stop chaos? The only thing to do is embrace it and turn ourselves into creatures of shadow. Or plan our escape. Escape? To where? I don't know. But if we are to survive, we must find out where that flock has flown and join them if we can. You've already found Atropos' distaff. Good. You won't be able to weave very much with it at first, but as you practice, its true power will be revealed to you. It's time to leave this island, Loom Child. Your destiny lies beyond the sunset, across the sea. Mother Hetchel, where are you going? Goodbye, Bobbin. I must follow the swans. Well, this is a fine mess. Everybody's gone and I still don't understand what's going on. Why did they keep calling me Loom Child? Nobody's ever let me anywhere near a loom.
those are the same four threads spun by the elders. Grabbing that now and writing it's it down because we're going to need it. In the loom. Okay. It's good to take notes during this game. Um, many of the drafts that you'll learn during the course of the game are going to be the same every time, but as I recall, back in the day, some of them changed sometimes uh, from playthrough to playthrough. So it's good to take notes. And uh, I'm such a space cadet when it comes to my memory anyways. So the game is pretty much all story-driven, point-and-click adventure, but instead of gathering, you know, weird items like you would in Maniac Mansion or in Monkey Island, um, you go around looking for drafts to learn that you can use to cast your spells and weave your magic. So there's a couple of places that we can go. To learn some spells. Just a matter of poking around. There's an owl in there. Another owl. Oh, there were so many owls in these woods. <laughs> that one is empty. Oh, that's right. We can't finish it yet. You. There we go. Destiny shall draw the lightning down from heaven, roll its thunder far across the sea, to where I wait upon the shore of wonder, on the day the sky is opened and the tree is split asunder. Day the sky is open. Oh yeah, we're totally doing this. So we're going to check out the sky and we're going to cast our open draft on it. I guess we're going to weave open upon the sky. Maybe I should stand a bit closer. Oh, that's right. We need to go back up to the uh, the hilltop. Oop, dip, 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 dip. But first, let's learn how to see in the dark, now that we've uh, gotten that owl to move. That's it. All the holes are full now. Okay, then. C, 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 C. Middle C is all the way. Night vision. So it's time to go wander up to the top of the hill, open up the sky, and bring down the thunder. And make our way to the shores of wonder. All right, let's try this again. Huh? So 
So, no worries. Just, um, you know, opened up a rip in space-time to destroy a tree. It's all good, though. It's only Bobbin's, Bobbin Threadbear's uh, first day practicing weaving, so uh, <laughs> nothing can possibly go wrong. Is it over? All right, Bobbin. Let's head back down. There's still a couple of things that we can learn from the Weaver Village. There was a fan project in the works using Adventure Game Studio uh, that was designed to be a fan sequel to this. Focusing on the guild of um, blacksmiths, and we will be seeing them later on in the game. All right, so now that we're in the dark, let's go ahead and use what the owls taught us. There we go. Now we can learn another spell here from the wheel. D E D C. Check this out. Let's try using it on the straw. And we have turned straw to gold. Now, something that it took us a while to figure out as children was that many of these drafts can be woven in reverse. So, much as I can turn straw into gold, I can turn gold into straw. Simple as that. Now, this is one of the drafts that you can miss. There are There's another location that you can learn it later on in the game, but it adds a bit of walking. And I'd rather just learn it now. Okay, um, we need to learn how to die. That's green. I hate that color. That's too bad, Bobbin. Grass green. I hate that color. Okay, so we can use DDCD to dye things green. I know it seems extremely useful, but it actually is. Let's go ahead and try it out. Changed. Fantastic. Okay, we've learned enough drafts now that we can access another note on our stick. I forget what it's called. Shame on me for forgetting what it's called. That thread's too high for me. Whoops. I'm sorry. All right, so G, D, D, E is empty. That's another one that can be uh, reversed to fill things up. That's the book of patterns. I already know what's in it. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, and I will see you guys next time.